Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we have this triangle, but I'm telling you, this is impossible. Now, why? Well, let me explain this a little bit more. So looking at this triangle, these sides here, they seem uh, pretty reasonable, right? I mean, if this is three and then this side is going to, uh, if I'm saying this is seven, and it's going to definitely be longer than three, maybe it's like a little bit more than twice it. And then this side is the longest. This is, of course, like 11. So if you look at the sides of this triangle, hopefully they seem reasonable to you. They certainly seem reasonable to me. But why is this impossible? Okay, in other words, we can never have a triangle with these uh, measures. Why is that? Well, this is a very, very important geometry concept. It's not that difficult, but it's one that you definitely need to know. So if you know why it's impossible to uh, have a triangle with these measures, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain this very, very important geometry concept. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so why is this not a triangle? Well, it's because of something called the triangle inequality, okay? Now, you may not have remembered the name and you actually might have um, stated this in a different way. So I'll kind of hold off on those of you that didn't say triangle inequality, but you did maybe answer this in a uh, different way, but a correct way. But for those of you who are like, oh yeah, this is the triangle inequality, well, that's very impressive. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a nice little A plus, uh, yeah, your smiley face, A plus, 100% and multiple stars. The best part about being a math teacher is when you get to do this, no one likes to give bad grades. I'll tell you right now, no one likes to receive them as well. Real quick story, when I was in uh, one of the most advanced mathematics courses I've ever taken, kind of master level mathematics, um, kind of the name of it's called like abstract algebra. By the time I uh, we were seniors in my math program, uh, I think we started off with maybe like 50 or 75 people as like maybe more as freshmen. And then as sophomores, there was less of us. And then juniors, more people dropped out of getting a degree in mathematics. I have a bachelor's of arts in mathematics, more like theoretical mathematics. So at the time we were seniors, uh, there was only a few of us left, right? It was kind of like Navy SEAL training, but I had no choice. I couldn't switch majors, so you had to survive. But anyways, um, our professor was uh, this PhD from Harvard, Caltech. It was just amazing math genius. And one day we took um, our, I think a midterm exam. There was six of us in the course. I got my um, test back. It was like maybe 30 pages of math. And I got this as my grade, six out of 100. Six points out of 100, and I was a senior in uh, a math degree program. So, you know, uh, of course, I, you know, my hair fell out. I was like, what's going on? But I looked at my friends, and some of my buddies got like five out of 100, four out of 100. I think the top grade was like eight out of 100. So I felt pretty good about myself. But here's the deal, right? If you get a bad grade in mathematics, just know that that's just part of learning. Uh, you don't, you know, you never can be defeated by this stuff, right? So, you know, for those of you that are math students, say, hey, listen, you got a bad math grade or whatever the case is, you can recover. Uh, it's just, you know, you're going to have to regroup and keep moving forward just like I did. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this simple um, uh, concept called the triangle inequality. Now, there's a couple different ways you can look at this uh, theorem. But uh, let's see it uh, in action with a real triangle. So this is a real triangle. This is not a fake triangle. It's a basic right angle triangle. Okay, now this thing that I'm going to be talking about applies to all triangle triangles, whether they're right triangles or not. But this is, a, in fact, a real triangle. So uh, the measures of this triangle is 3, 4, 5. We call this the, a Pythagorean triple. That's not really important. But what is important is that you'll understand the following. Okay, now let's take two sides of the triangle, okay, and we'll add them up. So this case, this case, we'll take like five plus four, right? And you can notice five plus four, which is what, nine, that's going to be greater than that uh, one side that we didn't add up, okay? So five plus four is greater than uh, three. All right, makes sense. Now, what happens uh, when we take another 
uh, pair of sides, like this side right here, five and three. And when we do this, five plus three, that's eight. Well, that's gonna be greater than that last remaining side right there. Okay, we're like, all right, well, let's check um, this last two pairs that we can kind of create. So three plus four is what? That's seven, and that's greater uh, than that one side. So this is what we call the triangle inequality. And any triangle, okay, actual triangle, it will have this property, okay? So the measure of uh, the sum of any two sides will always be greater than that third side. And it's got to work with all three sides of the triangle. So now, uh, knowing that, we, let's go to our problem, right? So let's take 11 and 3. So we'll check that 11 plus 3, is that greater than 7? Yes, it is. No problem there. Looking pretty good, right? So let's check another pair. How about 11 plus 7? Is that greater than that uh, side there? So it is. 11 plus 7, of course, is 18. That's greater than 3. But when we check these two sides, 7 and 3, is that greater than this side? No, right? So 7 plus 3 or 3 plus 7, that is 10. 10 is not greater than 11. So this fails right here, okay? So this is not uh, a uh, triangle. So basically... You kind of think of the triangle inequality as the following. If I give you like three straight little sticks, like here's one and here would be like another, and then maybe this would be like another one right here, right? A little small one. We would have to ask ourselves, could we construct a triangle out of these three little straight sticks? Well, maybe you take this yellow one right there, that long one, you draw it, and then this blue one, we're like, okay, well, we're gonna have to connect this triangle some way, right? So maybe I kind of draw it like this, or well, maybe I kind of draw it like, a little bit like so, but it's not gonna be long enough, and I only, I'm only left with this little white one, little piece right there, so I would have to connect it like this. Well, this is not a, this part is a triangle, but you know this yellow part right here goes too long, so this is not a triangle, okay? So these three measures could not form a triangle. So that's kind of, kind of a visual explanation of the triangle inequality. So it's, you know, again, not that difficult to um, you know use, hopefully, or understand, but it's something that a lot of students just kind of forget or maybe weren't even taught. That's why I do these videos. Now, if you need help with geometry, whether it be basic or high school level geometry, I have a, an awesome high school level geometry course to include proofs for those of you out there that need that level of geometry. Of course, you can find all this in my math help program, but if you need help with like basic geometry, surface area, volume, things along those lines, you may want to check out like my pre-algebra course. I teach all that stuff in there as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.